Tuesdays. What's going on, everybody? My name is Tyler Polchow, aka TP, and welcome back to the Barracks, brought to you by Metro by T Mobile, the number one brand in prepaid. Today, we're going one on one with Wuskin from the London Royal Ravens. Wuskin has been an absolute beast in the CDL thus far with a sniper, the KD, the main AR. The Royal Ravens have been a sort of middle of the pack team, but the star on the roster so far this year has been Wuskin, and today we're picking his brain. We got a bunch of different segments that we're going to go into, get some great thoughts from him on his team, himself, how he came to be as a pro player in the CDL. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy. Starting off this week's episode, we have the Game Changers. I want to pick your brain, Weskin, about the uh, recent events and your rise within the Call of Duty League and why you've been so successful as an individual and about your team a little bit. So to start off, you guys are sort of middle of the pack team, like I said before. Uh, you guys proved that you're a team to watch out for but make it to the finals of the Seattle Home Series. What has your team been specifically focusing on since this time? Uh, obviously, the roster change ha well, is pretty recent, right? Zero coming on over. What has that brought to your team? And is there anything specific that you guys have been working on going into the next event? Well, starting with Trey, like when we first picked him up, we like we said, like no matter like, who we get rid of, like obviously it was Jude. Like we said, like our problem isn't respawn. Like I feel like in respawn, like we have like myself, Dylan, and Matthew who can like we're fine on that. Yeah. But our S and D was appalling, like so so bad. So yeah. we said we we get Trey, and you know it's a it's a fresh it's a fresh environment, and we go from and we work on our S and D, and that's what we, that's what we're doing. That's awesome. And speaking specifically on Trey, do you feel like, yeah, I don't want to put down Jurd or anything. Jurd's obviously a great player. He plays a completely different role, right? Yeah. But what has Trey brought to the team that, uh, whether it be just more kills, uh, uh, more leadership, uh, what, is, what is the biggest thing you say Trey has brought to the table? Uh, zero for the viewers at home. Uh, what has he brought? Um, Trey brings a lot. You know, he's a, it's, you know, it's, a, it's like, a, like I said, a new team. So the vibe's like brand new. You know, there's nothing... Even though there was nothing bad there, it's like there's no negative energy, like no matter what. And yeah, he's like I, I, he's very um, intelligent. Like he, he he can talk. Like he's a he's a, he's, a, he's coming to the team and he's not been quiet. He's he's actually like spoken like on anything that's gone wrong. So you know he speaks up and that's a lot of people don't do that, especially in like a team like this. He's, he's walked For in. Sure. And he's comfortable. So that's the most important thing. Very cool. Yeah, that leadership and the, the line of communication is very important, especially when things are going poorly. In my experience, there's a, there's a lot of times where certain players on the roster sort of get quiet and don't participate yep. as much as like trying to get better as a unit. So I'm glad to hear that. I think it's a big part of, uh, of improving as a team. So that's great news right there. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on forward now, obviously you, your KDs have been super high. You've been sniping extremely well. The, uh, the amount of sniper picks you've been able to get compared to other players is is up there. Um, what's your secret? Uh, you've been a great player throughout the years, don't get me wrong, but there's something different about this game. Can you explain that to me? Like, what is working for you in, in Modern Warfare so far? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Tyler. <laughs> I, would, I would say I'm um, not having a girlfriend, to be honest. That's, yeah. that's, that's probably, that's probably yeah. that's more focused, main one. right? Yeah. I'm uh, way more focused than, uh, than funny. I used to be, man, that's for sure. <laughs> So yeah, is that is it easy as that? You're just more focused. Uh, do you do you attribute the, these successes to your team? Um, I would say you do play slower, but I mean every man AR does is trying to yeah. do the same sort of thing. But for whatever reason, you are are like it seems like you're a step above, and you've been playing very very consistently. Um, is it just how the M4 works? Is it the maps? Is it your team putting you in these situations for success? Uh, I'm glad to hear that you're more focused and obviously that's going to help you on an individual level, get putting in more time and stuff like that. But there's a lot that goes into putting yeah. up great stats event after event. So mm -hmm. uh, is it just the game or is it just a, the right formula? I don't, like, I, like I said, I, I feel like I played this game like so much. Like I've, I feel like uh, I know how it works to a T basically. I know where yeah. to be, well, when to be. I feel like I've got to that point now where like I've basically completed the game up until, up until recently. But yeah. I feel like I played it that much. I knew like what was going on, like in most situations, and like like I said, where to be, where not gotcha. to be. And I don't know, man. It's the more time I put in, the the more like the more success I see. You know exactly where you need to be. You spawn up. You're not you know second guessing yourself. You're not getting caught with weird timings. And when when the game's coming to you a little bit more, it's just kind of a walk of the park sometimes. So that's yeah. awesome. Uh, to follow that up, uh, obviously you said you've been playing the game more than ever. 
are you would you consider yourself the number one grinder on the team do you do you individually put in the most hours or is it like a competition within your team you would you say uh, yeah, it is a com- I feel like it deep down it is a competition between yeah. me, Matty, and Dale. Like we we okay. all like tell each other we, we play the game a lot. But I, I will say I, I think I play the most like, confidently. Yeah. Okay, nice. I like to hear the teams that have like a competition with it to see yeah. who can actually put in the most hours because at the end of the day, the people that are putting in the most hours are how ha- you have just more chances to succeed because you're just seeing yeah. these situations more and more. Just confidence. That's what I've noticed. Like my confidence. If if I, if I don't play the, like the game for even a day. And I get on knowing I'm screaming Dallas, so I, f- I feel like that's, that scrim is going to be that's just going to be rough. And then if if you get smoked in the scrim, you're kind of like wasting the time, and it's exactly. like yeah, it's, it's crazy. Uh, so we touched on Zero a little bit on what he has brought to the roster and how he's impacted the team so far. You guys are already looking a lot better, in my opinion. Um, now to go back a little bit, three years ago you went pro. I remember you making waves in the scene along with Scraps, your your twin brother. You guys were dominating. Uh, I remember some of the crazy plays you were making on Infinite Warfare, things like that, where you guys sort of like started to take off. Bring mm-hmm. me back to that moment a little bit. What was the was there like a an individual, a different pro who inspired you to 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 put all your efforts into gaming, or what was the moment for you where you thought, "Wow, like I, I made it. Like I'm a pro now." I mean, looking up to people, it's like all the. the um the, um, like, the Godfathers of the esports scene, you know, yourself's one of them. <laughs> you know, um, Big T's one of them. You know, yeah. Ray, he's up there. You, know, you guys are in that circle where, as like, like my age group, like when I was coming up, looking, like watching Call of Duty, like going through like Black Ops 2, Ghost and whatnot, you were the guys that were, people looked at, you know, that people respected you guys the most. So in that aspect of like coming up, you know, you're one of them. Just, like I said, Big T, Ray, you guys were the people that I looked at and, you know, you guys have got a lot of, you got you are very respectful people. That makes sense. You're, you're never talking like loudly. That makes sense. And yeah. sat back gameplay does the talking. And that's that. So on that aspect, you guys are that circle is probably who I looked at. And as a pro three years ago, I mean, to this day, I still like, like you just said there. Like, when did I feel like I've become pro? I've still never thought about that. I've still never sat here right. and looked and sat to myself. I'm a pro now. Like I've never did that. It's, it still doesn't feel like I'm in that position or. Saturday, like this, I don't know. It's, it's, I just take it day by day and play God. I, I like that mindset because you you never want to take it for granted. And again, no. when you, I, it happened to me sort of too. When you lose that spark, uh, is what I call it. Like you you lose the passion a little bit, yep. and as soon as you lose that passion, it, you like it, it. It gets a little bit harder each day to yep. to get on, and you don't enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it, I like that mindset a lot. Talk to me about that. It was, I believe it was that fanatic roster in. IW, right? That's when I, I, like, I was on the analyst desk at the time, and that's when I started noticing your name in particular. Um, I guess talk to me about that team, because it it was sort of, it was the first time I feel like for you individually, you were able to to show what you could do on an individual level. Did you feel like that was a very impactful time? This was my first very, this was my first very team. Yeah. On my my, my, my CV, on my name or whatever, this was my first team, and for, um, luckily enough it was fanatic and yeah you know it was it's to, to this day it still doesn't seem real like getting that opportunity and i don't know i don't know i don't know that roster that we had i'm not sure how i got it like how, the way i got into it like the story behind it it's, it's ridiculous to be honest like t- a lot of things went my way like you know swan uh, swanny like he he's he quit he quit around that time yeah. he was the he was the main guy in that roster he stopped playing so they needed one and then, fortunately enough, I had the most pro points in Europe playing GBs. Gotcha. And the grind pays off. Yeah, bro. They, they went for. They said, they, they, like, they said, let's try me, and they tried me, and here we are. A lot of people, I think, a lot of people in our community sort of ask what they need to do, and it's it's a combination of putting in the time, like uh, having those pro points back at that time was very important because yeah. it was a list of people that you had to pick from, and you just happened to be on that list. So it's like yeah. when you have these opportunities, you just need to be. You know, hovering around that that close enough level where, where I guess it would be challengers division now. At the time we've seen some players come from challengers start to to make some waves here in the CDL so far. But it's like you just got to keep keep grinding until that opportunity opens up for yourself. Exactly like you yeah. did, and several others have done recently too here in yep. CDL. So I love to hear that, man. Uh, you've you've been playing extremely well since uh, making waves in the pro scene. Uh, a very dominant, very consistent main AR, and. You, you know, props to you, man. Uh, it's, it's been awesome to see. Tyler. It's been awesome to see what you've been able to do the past couple of years. 
Uh, that's gonna do it for the game changer section. Moving on, uh, the next one we're gonna do is called hip fire. So what we're gonna do is we have a minute and 30 second timer. And I'm going to just shout a bunch of questions oh, at you. Bad. All right. This is going to yeah. be bad. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Mentally prepare yourself. All right. We're going to fire Demol. some questions. If you don't like the question, feel free to skip it. Right. You okay. got to make sure you want to make sure you get as many right as possible. If you're unsure about it, I don't, I don't want you to waste your time. So, uh, so, uh, all right. Let, let's I, rem I remember watching them boys yeah. and Chris, uh -huh. like Chris and Dylan's. And I was yeah. sat there watching like the YouTube video. And I was thinking, how has he not got that? And you're going to do this now. And I'm going to be like, how have I not got that? Yeah. Right. right. You're going to, you're going to watch it back and be like, oh. <sighs> All right, but we're keeping score. So uh, yeah, we'll see where you stand in the leaderboard afterwards once we get through these. All right, bro. Are you ready? <sighs> yeah, I'm ready. All right, all right. 90 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Who has the most total kills right now, you or Scraps? Me. Who has the most deaths on the Royal Ravens so far? Jude. Name a player on LA Optic Gaming. Sasha. Who is the coach for the Los Angeles Gorillas? Rika. Who currently has the highest KD in the league? Octane. Who is the oldest player in the league? Luna. What team currently has the highest overall KD? I want to say FaZe. What team currently has the lowest overall KD? Seattle. Battle of the North involves which two CDL teams? Was in Toronto. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> uh, what stuffed animal Easter egg is found in many Call of Duty games? Skip. Which game developer created the first Call of Duty game? Treyarch. Which COD game had the multiplayer map Estate? Mod Free. Which COD game had the multiplayer map Gridlock? Black Ops 4. Which COD game had the BOG multiplayer map? COD 4. Which COD game had the RAID multiplayer map? Black Ops 2. Which COD game had the Genesis multiplayer map? Is it Infinite Warfare? What year did the first Call of Duty game release? 2004? How many COD games are there total? 13. Okay. Bang, you made it through. <sighs> Let's tally these up real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got seven. <sighs> out of how many? 15. You got seven out of 18. Oh my God. I'm going to keep it real with you. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> oh my God. That's bad. That's bad. Oh my it's God. It's not good. Um, I, I feel like I want to give him number four though, because like the gorillas have multiple coaches and Ricky is a coach. So maybe I should have, it just said coach. Maybe I should have said head coach. I'm gonna I'm give you it. I'm 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 putting hey, another one. On the they board. got more than one. Yeah, they have more than one. They have Bevels. Oh, they got Ricky. Oh, they got a whole staff. Oh, yeah, they got Bevel. Oh my yeah. god. So I'm a, I'm a I'm gonna be a nice guy. I'm giving you that one. So you got eight. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah, I got you though. I got eight. you. Uh, I think that's the lowest still, I've seen so far in the yeah, YouTube series. Yeah, it is series. the lowest. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're definitely last place. Oh dude. my god. Oh. <laughs> three people are tied. Three people are tied at first at eleven. Uh, Simp got ten, and then you're sitting at eight. That's all good though. That's not bad. Not too you know, bad, oh, man. I feel like the the first couple were kind of tough. Uh, the the most deaths on your team is actually Dylan. Dylan's got I the most. Th so. I probably would have said Jerd too. I remember, yeah, I remember, yeah, I did think it was Jerd. I yeah. remember seeing someone at the time. I don't know. I'm surprised you didn't get the oldest player one, Clayster. Is it Clay? Because I know, yeah, I know Looney's like isn't it Looney's on yeah. the same. Looney's yeah. on the same thing. I think right? Looney's a little yeah. bit older too. I don't. I'm not sure if he's older than Krim or not. Yeah, I thought Looney's you were going to get the Ian, twenty six. Uh, Ian just turned 27 too. Okay, Looney just turned 27 as well, right? Oh, okay. So they're all kind of like yeah. right in that same ballpark. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Infinity Ward was the first developer God. for COD. What year was the? Uh, what year did the and, first game uh, release? First game was 03. Oh, did I, did I say 04? I think you said 04. Oh my One God, off, bro! So close. Unfortunate. Uh, all good, bro. You did well. You did well. Eight. We'll take it. Not too bad. Next, Wesky. We got. Uh, we're gonna do some bod review. It's going to be a clip of you almost getting a, an ace on S and D. Oh my against, god! I don't, I don't even want to watch it. Oh my god! You don't, don't want to? We can do, but wow! Well, yeah, you want to watch it, bro? I'm gonna get off. I might go in Dylan's room now and get him out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you might need to snack him. Like, 
He's in his room right now. I'm about to go and get him. Yeah. I'm about to get him in here. Yeah, yank him over. Be okay. like, I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You ready to play it in three, two, one? So walk me through, like, why, like, obviously Piccadilly, Petro, Arklov. It's pretty easy to get sniper picks sometimes, but yep. what what is why is sniping so easy for you in this? You've been able to get so many damn picks. Look at that jump shot right there. Like, you're insane, bro. That's, I think that's it. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you see the when I hit the first shot, I always get this. this I feel like confidence is the biggest thing. I, I like that is my biggest issue. Yeah. That is if I don't hit, like that is the only thing stopping me. Like so, when I hit aqua crossing, I thought this is it. As I do the jump, um, I see like blast his um, flashlight a tiny little bit, and then like, if you see like it looks like um, hacking in a sense, like they're aiming through the stairs, and I seen him, and then. Once I yeah. hit the second, I thought, right, that's it. Who's next? Yes, you could be the best team in the world as Wiskin hits a oh fresh second kill. Best search destroyed team in the world, but you still have to win a respawn just to force that game five. So, uh, yes, for LA Gorillas, this is looking good. As Wiskin is just basically putting on a montage. There's Sniper three. Ace. Mage is fine. Sniper Ace. Wiskin. They have families, man. Don't do it to him. It's decimated. He's stealing it. He's stealing it. Wiskin, no. His teammate stole it. That's just bad manners. That was such a sick play, man. I, I mean, honestly, when you... Your teammates just gotta let you get it at that point. Like, come on, man. Like, I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even realize at the time. Let, you're just so locked in. Yeah, you're just I didn't fucking even people. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I'd be screaming at my team, like, dude, just let me world star this guy. Like, yeah. you know, worst case, you die as four v one. Like, you're fine. Unbelievable. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it. Definitely. But um, so in terms of like sniper picks, it, you said comms are very important in that particular play. You're able to like see other players while you're in the midst of like moving around the map there on the on the uh, the scaffolding right there. Yeah. Um. Would you say Piccadilly is your favorite sniper map, or would it be an Art Club, Petro? Like, which one do you feel the most comfortable on? Um, I don't, know. I don't know. I feel like they both they've got their own. It's like I said, I feel like it's just how if how the first, I feel like once along into the game, the first shot will decide how that map's gonna yeah. go. That's like if it's a hit mark at the start of the game, it could be bad. <laughs> it's go it's you know? gone. So, but if I hit a shot and that's it, then I feel like I don't, I can't miss, and it's, it goes from there. Are there ever times when you guys are playing where you might be getting a lot of uh, sniper picks, but you're still losing rounds? Is there times where you're like, all right, I might, as, might, I might as well put this away, even though I'm dominating? Do you ever run into situations like that? Um, this map was a prime example. You know, this I was yeah. we were four 0 down here, and um, we, we honestly we were playing we were playing like we were playing stupid, and I just kept saying like, what are we doing? I'm get we're getting picks and we're losing rounds. Yeah. Are we dropping? But um, we've got out of that habit. You know, we're getting better at it. We get we get numbers, and we and one of yeah. us drop like like doing something stupid, but we're getting better at it. That's and um, is it that, I feel like yeah, because at one point I was sniping every map because my confidence was getting stupid. Yeah, like I was sniping on Ramazo and attacking shit every round. <laughs> so, um, but now I do, yeah, I feel like on Arklov and Piccadilly, I run I, I run it a lot. But the yeah. other maps is like it's it's it's, it's fifty fifty. Yeah. I feel on that. And yeah, sometimes you're just feeling it. Sometimes you might not yeah. be feeling it. That's good, though. I mean, the amount of sniper picks you've been able to get, and you look at first blood st statistics in CDL, it's like you, most of the time, if you're able to get a pick that early on, you should be able to utilize those numbers, work yeah. up, get a bomb down, and, and go from there. I'm get glad to hear you guys. You know, Tyler, you're one of the smartest yeah. to ever do yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. Numbers. Yeah, I, you know me, bro. I, 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 was, I was the bomb guy. If I yeah. saw a sniper pick, I'm like, oh, my God, free plant. Let's go, bro. Bait me. Bombs you know? down, the round's done. Yeah, you know? I'll set you up, bro. Yeah, let me back up. I'm going to start playing. Yo, yeah, get a pick for me, bro. I'll play a bomb. You just win the round for me. Straight up. I got you. Oh, that's awesome, though. I'm glad you guys are starting to make improvements. Again, roster change probably helping out with that, too, uh, with uh, Zero's leadership coming in for S&D, you know, mid-round shot calls, things like that. But uh, keep doing what you're doing with the sniper. The amount of stats and uh, number of picks you've been able to pick up event after event has been very, very impressive. And... Don't lose that confidence, bro. It's working for you. Thank you. Thank you, Tyler. Moving on forward now, we got the top three segment. So I'm going to join you in this one. For those watching the episodes uh, on YouTube, I want to hear you guys' top three in the comments as well. For the question for the top three, what are your top three all-time favorite COD multiplayer maps? Top three. All COD games. Oh. Um... Yeah, we'll, let's, yeah, let's do comp. Let's do comp. Let's right. talk CDL. I feel like you, I feel like it would be dis disrespectful if we didn't throw Raid in there. Block two Raid. Raid's my number no. one. Raid so, is like right. an all-time favorite. To to help him out uh, him number two. Yeah, nice play from Emos, but I'd have to say like, something like a standoff. 
Standoff. Standoff, yeah, great, I really, I really enjoyed pick. that. Stick into the BO2 maps. Yeah. Yep. I feel like Black Ops 2 had really good maps, it's man. so good, bro. Oh, really man. good maps, man. I miss them. <sighs> Straight up. And then, I feel like my third one would be a Black Ops 2 map, but I just can't. I've got to switch it up. It's got to be Backlot on God 4, the original Backlot. Backlot. Yeah. That's a good one. I, I, I played a lot of S&D like, when, like, on Hardcore back yeah. then. I enjoyed it, man. Battle was You're really a hardcore good guy, huh? Yeah, that was when I started out. I, pl I played a lot of hardcore. Dude, I can't play that crap. Yeah, no not now. I can't. Like, wow, it's Dude, really no bad. Way. But when I first started Here. playing, solid. God four, God four hardcore. You getting wall banged by M16? <laughs> I'm like, I'm done. No way. <laughs> let's do it, bro. Yeah, uh, it let's me for me. Let me do my top three. Uh, definitely raid. You see him on your mini map, but Nameless, he's able to break the hard point for Unite Gaming. Saw shots by TP. Picks up the two. Number two, I'd pick Scrapyard. I love a big scrap. Oh my god, man! What I swear. If I had to dedicate, like, that's how I went pro. Dude, I'd be hosting with Scrapyard Demo. I'm dropping 60, oh, you, 70 kills, you playing, Oh, yeah, you were playing Demolition or not? Yeah, that, been, that was yep. hectic, right? Dude, it was brutal. <laughs> yeah, you sit white wall, just Whoa. smacking them up, man. Dude, that's Scrapyard insane. was my map. Uh, number three. Damn. Are you fancy? I, I want to I wanna switch it up, bro. I, I know I didn't have a... I didn't, I didn't have a lot of success on the Jetpack games, but uh, I, I feel like I want to pick like an AW map. I had a lot of fun playing on map. Like, I, I, oh, thought solo. I, th I thought Detroit, oh, Solar Detroit was, was a good map. Sol it'd probably be like Detroit or Solar. Solar was so much fun too. Yeah, very good map. I want to like switch it up a little bit. Obviously the BO2 map is, is tough to yeah, beat. I think there's like, too uh, many on BO2. Dude, you know, everybody can, knows them. We can make a top five out of that. Yeah, top 10 I think. <laughs> but again, in the comments guys, let us know if you agree or disagree. What's your overall favorite map in Call of Duty history? Your top three uh i want to hear what you guys have to say good picks there wesk good picks. good picks okay next one moving on to teeps takes in this segment i'm gonna give you my hot takes on current call of Duty league teams players and recent events uh they may be a little bit controversial uh feel free to disagree with me we can argue about stuff and again in the comments i want you guys to agree or disagree with some of the takes that we're gonna have on this segment First up, we have uh, the three rings retirement. Karma retiring. I, I just want the guy to be happy. Uh, yeah. It's not it's not much of a take. I, I don't I don't think he's done though. I don't know. I feel like there he could come back. He might get yeah. another opportunity on a, on a team or something like that. He's, yeah, he's definitely he, he's, not done with COD. You don't think so? No, nah, he's not done with COD yet. Sure. I, I feel like I feel like it just gonna it, it just takes the right game. Yeah, because he just. He's a gamer, man. It's someone it, like it, him don't give in, like, especially what he's, I know. You know, yeah. you, don't end, you don't end your career like on that, you know. And I feel like he he hasn't been able to play like a role that he's wanted to play yeah. in so long now. Yep. So if he got an opportunity on a team to, I don't know, whether it be main AR or whatever he wants to do, I don't know. I feel like he's been stuck in a situation where he's playing a role he doesn't. He's just not having as much fun as he would like. Yep. So that's his, I feel like that's his main issue. Like he's, I feel like Damon's main problem is literally like, Damon seems like. The worst person for this is enjoying it. If Damon ain't enjoying yeah. it, Damon ain't doing it. You know, yeah, so exactly. It's, I think if we get if we get a good game and he enjoys it, I feel like we, we would see him for sure. All right, so uh, we both kind of think he might be back. All right, uh, moving on to the second one: the the gentlemen's agreements, um, the snaking, the odd attack sprint, Merc four grip. <clears throat> My take on the situation is when the pros make changes like this, it's for. It's for the competition. When things are cheesy, when things are too easy to abuse, if they affect the game in a negative way on the competitive level, the pro players usually take it in their own hands if they don't see the balancing come in. And that's why these gentlemen's agreements have been a thing for a long time. Uh, I was always an advocate for them because there's certain things in Call of Duty that either aren't balanced appropriately or too e easily abused. So in terms of these three things, my take on it is snaking is... You can't be doing it like on purpose. It's very yeah. obvious to tell when someone's abusing it, Blade and if someone, and then if so, if you see someone abusing it, you're gonna start doing it yourself, and it just yeah. like devolves into, a, a, you know, it's really annoying. For those that don't know what snaking is, it's when you go prone and pop back up when you're behind cover, and it gives you like this uh, this camera effect that gives you the peeker's advantage when you pop back up where they can't see you well, and you're able to shoot, and it's it's just not very competitive. Yep. Auto attack sprint uh, allowed people to just utilize the movement better in the game the slide canceling um i'm not sure i really feel about that one i feel like with auto attack sprint it's either like i feel like movement is something that you learn and yeah. i don't know if that was that was like easily abusable so i don't know how i feel about the auto attack sprint one and then merc foregrip I i've played this game a lot whether it be multiplayer or 
I, I thought the auto, like, you know, it's pretty easy to center, especially when you're sliding and you know how to abuse the movement in this game. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with Merc Forger being a little bit too strong. Mm-hmm. Basically, your first hip fire bullet was going to hit every single time. It's yeah. like, ah, you combine that with how strong these guns already are. Like, MP5 is insane. Yeah. I mean, so the, like, ten, I, the ten millimeter mag has got a, the the damage pl- the damage thing on it. Hasn't I, it? I the know. 10 millimeter. So that just spots it on top Crazy. of it. Crazy. Crazy. Um, so, so players stay blessed, Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, it, doesn't stop, it doesn't stop you though. Nope. It doesn't stop you. You're loving these ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You you like these ones. So I guess the only one is like I don't know if I completely agree on the auto attack sprint one. Yeah, um, yeah that I, would I, make sense because that's been in since the, like shots he's been doing that since the start of the game. So right. The fact that we've gone seven months down the line. And now we're trying to like this is like, weird to do it point, now, you know. Yeah. So it doesn't make sense to do that. But so yeah, for me it's two out of three thumbs up. And then I don't know if I if it's a thumbs down on the auto attack sprint. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you're you're a you're slower AR player. So mm-hmm. any I mean I guess snaking would benefit you. But uh, you, you I mean you're not the type that would do like you you wouldn't abuse snaking nah, and stuff like that. I yeah. I know you as like a person mm-hmm. as a player. Like no way. And then yeah. the Merc foregrip, that only benefits you too. So you're chilling, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, I was hearing these updates, you know, they're changing this, they're changing. And I was like, you what? Yeah, right. So I'm, I'm nice. I don't have to, what? you know, Matty, <laughs> Matty and Dylan were like stressing, oh, what do I use? Yeah, right. What attachments do I use? I'm like, right, my, know, right. my feet are up. I'm, I'm, yeah. sat, I'm sat back. So chilling, not getting hip fired. Like, yeah. I, I love sick, it. Dude. Absolutely. No Last fun. one. Last one for Teep's takes. Uh, where all the teams are currently ranked in the league standings, would you say that there's any surprises? Um, I guess a surprise for me is I always bring up the surge, but man, they, it's just been a weird year for them with the, the roster changes and now karma retiring and then the subs are coming in and then enable got benched before. So I guess the surge would be like my biggest surprise when I looked at the roster at the start of the year, but yeah. honestly, everything else, it kind of makes sense to me. Like you have the big dogs up top that have been pretty damn consistent throughout the year. Your yeah. your Empire, your Chicago phase. Mm-hmm. You guys have been. I, I predicted you guys were going to be sort of middle of the pack, but yeah. more on like the top side. Uh, we see New York starting to get back to where I thought they're going to be, sort of like middle of the pack as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think chance is going to be pretty crazy though. I think we're seeing finally a time where some of these lower ranked teams are make getting a lot better. It's taking them yeah. time. It's taking some roster changes, right? And I know a lot of people, it, I'm like always stuck in between where like, I want to see teams try and like stick together and, and improve as a team and not resort to roster changes. Mm-hmm. However, we've seen a lot of these roster changes work so damn well for these yep. teams and, and kind of for you guys as well. Bro, so like, ours, one of ours you know? is the biggest one, like, you know, Trey, yeah. like I'm slow. You try, Trey's pretty slow. Matty's pretty slow. Sean's slow. Yeah. And you know, I see. You know what? We see everything. You know, every every post sees everything in the comments, the 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 tweets that we see it all. So, and we got a lot of it. We got a lot of we got a lot of shit for uh, making changes, but you know it's worked out. And yeah, sometimes. Just, well, just, and as players too, sometimes you just like know where you can get better, and sometimes you just aren't, and you spend months on that. It's like yeah, we got to do something. Mm-hmm. Champs is such a big deal this year too, so. If you're gonna make a change, you, you got to do it sooner rather than later. Later, uh, and uh, I think champs though is gonna be absolutely insane. I think the fact that we're gonna have all teams there as well, mm-hmm. yeah, there's gonna no, be some upsets. Be there's gonna be some upsets. <clears throat> I, I've been saying it as well it. since the start of this it. game, Tyler. The, the the format on this game and like how it's how, crazy. How we play, how we, I feel like anybody can win. Dude, I just I feel like, like, like imagine. I don't know, imagine like a fourth seed loses to like a someone all the way down to the bottom of the leaderboard at champs, dude. Oh, imagine spending all this time. <laughs> dude, it's going to happen to someone or I'm going to feel so bad. But I, I can't wait to see champs, man. Two million for first, like, wow. Um, In terms of ranking, is there like a particular team that stands out for you that is uh, like a surprise, whether they be doing extremely well or poorly? Um. P- p- Counting out the whole year, you, I mean, you've got to yeah. say Seattle, right? Yeah. Octane, Damon, you know, you slacked up of there. You yeah. know, the players, in, uh, you know, the Legends. players that we had in, in this team before this year started, like, these guys are serious players, you know, they've won, they've done it all. Damon, you know, Damon's won the most, so, yeah. well, three times, so, yeah. you know, the fact that the, they, didn't, they didn't work how they should have, and they didn't, didn't know they should have, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's very surprising. Crazy, crazy stuff. Um, leading into champs, we have some tournaments, some home series left to go. I'm excited to see how some of these uh, 
middle of the pack or lower ranked teams continue to improve. We're seeing it and it's pretty exciting. It's making a, uh, I mean, damn, we, we saw on the CD, uh, like some of these matches lately, a lot of three twos going down. Uh, I think people are just catching up when it comes to respawns. Yep. And then I think S and D is going to be where a lot of these teams set themselves apart in, in, yep. in order to lock down these series. We're going to see a lot of map fives. Yeah, championship style. Ab- absolutely. I, your, your sniper is going to help out your team for sure. Hopefully, man. Wow. Yeah. That's going to do it for Teep's Takes. Uh, next up, we have Incoming. So I don't know if you've seen the other, other episodes of The Barracks, but what we're going to do is we have uh, some clips from a CDL broadcast. Yes. Uh, a word is going to be bleeped out, and then it's going to be up to you to try and guess what the bleeped out word is. We'll start it in three, two, one. I'm not moving. I'm staying on my belly. He's half man, half <laughs> at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I replay that? Or? Yeah, yeah, but play it as many times as you want. Let, let me know when you're ready. Me... <laughs> half man, half something. <laughs> I'm not moving. I'm staying, I'm staying on my, my belly. Belly. He's half man, half I'm half man, I'm half. This is a hard one. I don't even know. I'm trying to think of the word it would be. <laughs> Give me something. I actually don't even know. Like, I actually can't get the word. What would I say? I'd say, like, s- slug. Just laying down. That's what I would say. Like, it's just something that doesn't move, you know? That's, I yeah. actually don't know what it would be. I need to see the answer for that. I need to see the answer. Yeah. Okay. Are we just, are we just chalking it? Yeah, We're moving I, on I, to the I, answer? I, I, actually don't know, like, I actually don't know what it would be. He's chalked. All right, you got the answer ready? I'm playing it in three, two, one. I'm not moving. I'm staying on my belly. He's <laughs> half man, half asphalt at this point. <laughs> you heard it? You got the answer one up? What was the word? What was the word he said? He said asphalt. That's like, it. Wait, what is that? Wait, what? I've never even heard that word in my life. Uh, like, uh, like, it's like the, like what streets are made out of, like asphalt. He's just like oh, laying I on the ground. never, ever, ever, ever in, no way. in a million years getting that. Never. There's no way I thought Maven was going to say asphalt. No way. <laughs> That's a tough one. Oh Damn. my God. I, I don't even, there's no way. I was never, that was, ever that was that. actually never. impossible. That was the hardest one we've had on the show. I got by stuck. By far. Unbelievable. <laughs> Oh. They're they're not treating you nicely on yeah, this we one. Yeah, who, right, who's, who's set this, this up? We need to have a word. Uh, uh, right, I know, right? This is way too hard. All right, let's open the second one. Let me know when you're ready. Second one. Um, I'm ready to go. All right, play it in three, two, one. Scraps leading the charge up front as well, and that was a bit of coming in from Wasson. So again, those twins putting in the work. Oh my, I've seen this clip before. Oh my God, that's going to annoy me. You we ain't going anywhere until I know this. We ain't going anywhere. Oh my, I've watched this clip so many times. I'm trying... Uh, this is listen. This is against New you York and the S and D, isn't it? This is in, this is against New York and the S and D. You know it. You got to get this one. Oh my god! You have to get this one. <gasps> I actually don't know the word, but this is on Petrograd S and D. I already. Oh my god! I've watched this clip so many times. Come on, Wesky. <laughs> Come on. You've listened to it. it I need you got to get this one. Scraps leading the charge up front as well, and that was a bit of coming in from Wasson. So again, those twins putting in the work. Trying to pull this back for the London Royal Ravens. I don't know it, Tyler. I'm serious here. I'm actually not even joking. Are you chalking the second one too? Bro? I actually don't know the answer, but I've watched this uh, clip about a million times. Uh, am I just moving on? I need to listen to this right now. Okay. I was 0 for 2, dude. Come on. All right, we're playing the answer. Scraps Ready? leading the charge up front as well, and that was a bit of crossfire coming in from Wasson. So again, those twins putting in the work. Crossfire. Oh my God, man. Oh, crossfire, dude. Crossfire. Oh my goodness. Dude. Was it it was the pet show against New York, was it not? Uh, probably. It was. I actually it was. Someone has to confirm that it was. Unbelievable, dude. Wow. Well, Over two? Yeah, plus I'm, I'm sorry. Man, I'm thought, sorry. Thought, first one was actually impossible. So I am I'll let you off the hook for that one. Yeah. Second, second one's one, very bad. Second one, you I yeah. think you should have got that yeah, one. Yeah, that's my yeah, that's my bad. Absolutely. That's all good, bro. <sighs> Uh, all right, man. Weskin, thank you so much for joining me, dude. I had a lot of fun talking to you. Uh, you've been a beast in the CDL so far, dude. Uh, you guys have been you know, looking a lot better with Zero on your team. I hope you guys continue to, to keep grinding, keep improving, and champs coming up, man. I think you guys can make some some magic happen. Thanks for That's joining me, dude. Thank you for having me, man. It's been a, it's been a pleasure, Tyler. Hey, you're a good dude. Continue that grind. Keep that passion, and you got good things coming your way, my guy. Thank you very much, man. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of The Barracks presented by Metro by T-Mobile, the number one brand in prepaid. Make sure you guys check out our other episodes and subscribe to the COD League YouTube. We'll see you next time for the next episode.